Hello, my name is Connie, and today we will be discussing number 17 from the 50 strategies. Number 17 primarily deals with the concept of categorization and organization. Sorting activities deal with the student's ability to sort objects or words into appropriate parameters. The process also provides students with hands-on experience and practice with organizing and manipulating concepts and material. In general, there are numerous sorting activities that can be done, however in this video two separate activities will be demonstrated. As with any educational strategy, grade and age groups are an important factor in the planning of activities. In general sorting activities are the same on the basis level, however they can be tweaked to accommodate any grade level. For example, with students in an age group of 4 to 5 it was very easy to adjust the level of activity to basic pictures in place of words. For this activity, a various assortment of animal cutouts with the name of the animals on the back were scattered, the student was then tasked with sorting the animals by their respected appearances, fur, fin, and feathers. With some time and encouragement, the student was able to complete the task successfully. This is an example of taking a sorting activity and adjusting it to the curricular area of science that we as a class are currently on. The following type of activity is classified as a word wall, an alphabetical list of words designed to encourage vocabulary development and word study. The process is simple yet effective as it can be accomplished with minimal effort and resources with walls ranging from words being placed on a bulletin board to a list of words written on a long sheet of paper. Word walls can also be used as references to students as they can be written in multiple languages. Here the students can view words that are associated with the current theme of the class. Word sorts are a common activity practiced in many schools that builds off the word wall activity. In the process a teacher will choose to sort the words in the wall by a certain parameter. This gives students more word interaction by encouraging students to think differently about the concepts the teacher is teaching. In conclusion, sorting activities are super effective with English language learners as it provides a means to show their understanding of the concepts and teaching material while also allowing the student to acquire vocabulary without the need for verbal interaction. Also it's important to remember that education and knowledge can vastly be improved by teaching through different approaches, as students will be able to have more choice as their individual learning will be reinforced through the shifts and variety in the curriculum.